what's up this is yeah the iphone geek come to you with the ipad 3 5.1.1 jailbreak okay i had backed up my device earlier i'm not gonna reach toward this one because of the fact is that um i kind of set it up new and add something safe so i'm not going to restore it so i'm going to do set up as a new ipad all right so i'm going to just do continue here i'm just going to say MGP, that's the name of my crew. MGP crew iPad. Alright, automatically let me take those off. Click done. It's gonna do that. It's gonna back up the name. You can see it's 5.11. It is the new iPad. Alright. So waiting for that to download. Do everything it's doing. So quick iTunes here. So now we're gonna go to my iPad. We're gonna complete the setup. Alright. Okay, so as you can see, I had just restored my phone from scratch. So I'm gonna log into my Wi Fi. All right. All right, I didn't set anything up major, right? As you can see, about 5.11 go back and I usually set this to never um, so that's it nothing fancy nothing installed still running it all right so now we're gonna go ahead and launch our friendly absent 2.1 which I downloaded from green poison my bad I remember green poison is spell with an O at the end before the end a zero I should say not a O alright so and you hear me stumbling I don't practice this I don't rehearse I give it to you already so if you hear me slip and see something just continue from there on alright so I'm gonna go and rub absent here because that we're gonna open so now absent is here iPad 3 Wi-Fi with a 5.11 detected all we gotta know now is click jailbreak alright I'm just gonna wait and see what happens Additional jailbreak data. This may also take a while, which is normal. Send in final jailbreak data. Your device will appear to be restoring, which is fine. I'm gonna go ahead and let that stay just the way it is. Restore in progress. Restore complete. Device will start a run. All right. Waiting for reboot. I'm gonna run around. Do its thing. Now remember, you need to be on administrator if you're on a PC or if you're on a Mac, make sure you log, log into the administrator account. All right. So, win for reboot. Apple logo came up. So, the thing is, a lot of people had issue when they were doing this, okay? If you run into any error while you're doing this, what I recommend to do is completely, freshly, make sure you back it up though. Restore it again. Even if you had updated to 5.1.1 before, erase all data. Back it up first. Back it up. Erase the data. Then go back into iTunes and do a fresh, brand new restore. I mean, complete restore. All right. And when it comes up in iTunes, you want to say set up as new device, as you can see I did earlier. All right. And then run this and you shouldn't have no problem. All right. As you can see, we're going to launch it here. Okay. This is done. So you can actually close this part out here. Prepare and file system. And the reason why we say to be on Wi-Fi, you know, because it downloads the stuff the much quicker, install the stuff the much faster. So we're just gonna wait. So I'm gonna just wait. I've been waiting for this since I purchased my iPad. I actually purchased my iPad when it just 
came out the very first time when it came out. I was on my iPhone at work like this. Order, order. I ordered two, one for my wife too. So, you know, you got to hook the wife up, you know. Yeah, ring on the finger, you know what I'm saying? So, now this is all done. You actually don't even need the, the USB cable anymore. So, I'm going to go back in the city. Make y'all see that it's working. So, we're going to go to user. Okay. I'm going to click done. You can see that we're now in city. It says SSH Bob. 5.1.1 is saved. Downloading packages. You know, all this is really cool. Thanks to the team, entire team that's a part of this. You know, I would definitely say donate something. You know, donate five dollars, ten dollars, two dollars, whatever you can donate, whatever you feel in the heart. You want to donate? I donated, and I think I'm gonna donate again, just to keep saying thank you. So I'm saying, so I definitely want to thank those guys for doing what they did. You know, they didn't have to, and they decided they wanted. There's people gonna to try to sell this this thing to you. No need to pay for it. It's free. You see me do everything from scratch. All right, I erased my iPad. I did everything from scratch. And I'm just gonna wait for this to finish. Download the package. As you can see, Studio works fine. Okay, and just to show you all that it's no BS, I can actually stop that. All right, go back into my settings. Go back into about iPad version 5.11, and this is the iPad 3. As you can see, when absent detected it tells you and to show you that it's actually is a tether jailbreak I'm gonna go in and shut my device off so I turn it off okay went back in back here CD is still there loading back up again you can see untethered 5.11 jailbreak. Good time. So I'm gonna go ahead, start to install all my cool apps and stuff that I wanted to do. And changes are here. Compatible extensions. Everything is all set. You're good to go. All right. So remember to subscribe, like the video, share the video, make this video pop. I yeah, the iPhone gate do it to you and show from scratch. I don't sugarcoat anything. Alright? So here we are. Yeah, the iPhone geek, sir. Look more. Peace.